right, everybody, welcome in to Average Joe Sports Talk. This is our national championship game preview. Um, obviously, this game is a rematch. Uh, it's not a, it's, yeah, it's not a rematch from the national championship game last year, but a playoff matchup and then a prior to national championship game. So the teams are very, very familiar with each other, to say the least. Um, uh, it's pretty much, I think, we both, I think all of us had these two in the 80. Well, no, you had Auburn. And then, but it, but you had Clemson too, though, didn't yeah. you? Yeah. Yeah. So, um, I mean, it's pretty close. So, you know, when we made our channel and we uh, we started our channel out, we talked about you know how legitimate would we be in, in picking our games, and I'm, I'm I'm a little bit of a humble brag right here for us to all have <laughs> Clemson in there and Clemson to make it, and um, and three to four to have Alabama. You know, that's pretty impressive. Mm -hmm. It was not that hard, but no. still. You know. A lot of football and injuries. Yeah, which could have changed it. You know. So I, that's just they just hit me that you picked all. My husband showed up in the bowl game. Man, finally. <laughs> <laughs> uh, they win. Mm, they had five touchdown passes, didn't they? Oh, okay. yeah, I didn't watch it. Yeah. <laughs> uh, now I'm gonna throw I'm gonna throw some stats out. Uh, first of all, the game's gonna be played January seventh in Santa Clara, California, at Levi's Stadium. Um, Alabama is a six point favorite. The over under is fifty nine and a half. So they're basically saying this is going to be another one of those up and down the field games that Alabama and Clemson's had in the past, which I do believe that's going to be the case in point myself. We are going to let Reggie dig in first, and then we're going to go <laughs> Shannon, then Josh, then myself to close it out. Um, Reggie, <clears throat> let me know what you got. Mm. Let me know who you're picking. <laughs> we're going to write what? these scores down too. Oh, yeah, we'll write these down. Um, Looking at the stats that I've um, got so far, um, looking on paper, Clemson will have the edge against Alabama because they, they're they ranked higher in a lot of categories, um, offensive and defensive categories. And But I think at the end of the day, um, I think Alabama's going to pull it out. I think our defense is going to pull it out. Um, only thing that scares me about Clemson, though, is their defense. So uh, their defense is ranked second in the nation, and Alabama's ranked twelfth. And you know, Alabama's usually known for their defense, but the way they stepped up against Oklahoma the other night pretty much showed me that these guys are hungry and they're ready for a national championship, another one. Um, so I really think our defense is going to step up to the plate and be a big part in this game. To your point, though, I think Alabama played a much tougher schedule, though. Yeah, they did. I don't, I don't think there's any question. They, you can right. argue that. Yeah. Even though I hate Alabama, they <laughs> played a much tougher schedule for Clemson. Yeah. So I think those stats kind of go with that. Yeah, um, they do. So, so, um, so let's hear it, Dave. I'm picking Alabama. I'm, I'm seeing a low-scoring game. I don't think it's going to be a high-scoring game. 21-17 um, Alabama. 21-17 Alabama. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. Anything else? Are you ready for Woods? Uh, woods? <laughs> <laughs> I don't, uh, the, the defense is actually what intrigues me more than anything. I know everyone likes the quarterback matchup, which is mm -hmm. going to be by far the best quarterback matchup we've seen in the national championship game in, in a long time. But, you know, you got two of the best defenses as far as pass defenses goes in the nation. Mm -hmm. Alabama goes up 178, he's out 17 touchdowns, has 14 picks. Clemson, Gives up 184 yards, giving up 11 touchdowns, and they have nine picks on the year. Uh, Clemson also has the second-ranked scoring defense in the nation, and some of that's actually inflated, you know, because South Carolina scored 35 on them uh, in that game, uh, and they're at 13.7. Uh, Clemson is averaging 47 points a game in their last nine games. Um, and the thing is, you know, Dexter Lawrence is not playing, but against Notre Dame, uh, they had six sacks and eight tackles for loss even against Notre Dame without Dexter Lawrence. They're kind of like, this was the one team that actually in the country that can, like Alabama, lose a player and reloads. Clemson <laughs> yeah. does the same exact thing. I mean, you've got five stars waiting to play. Uh, I've got this going way under 59 and a half. Uh, and that's, you know, even I was looking at this Clemson's receivers as good as, you know, Judy and, and all of Alabama's receivers are, you know, uh, Rose. They're, but they have T. Higgins, who's averaging 15.3 a catch, and Ross is 21.2 a catch. Of course, then you got Hunter Renfro. Uh, 14 games for him, been an old man in his knees. How are they going to hold up during the game? Uh, <laughs> obviously, is a big question. Uh, but I'm actually going to – my key – having said all that, my key to the game is in, 
again, is ETN, uh, is my key to the game. Uh, the guys, he's dynamic. He kind of gets overshadowed by Sunshine and all those receivers. So, But I'm going to say ETN uh, rushes for 130 uh, and a couple touchdowns. Um, and I've got the game at 24-17 Clemson. Oh, 24-17 Clemson. Mm-hmm. Give me your band now. There you go. <laughs> That's a quadruple click. Okay. <laughs> All right. I think Hunter Renfro is going to get shut down. Reason being, Nick Saban knows Hunter Renfro like the back of his hand. I don't know if you know this or not. Nick Saban was a cornerback at Kent State. And he actually guarded Hunter Renfro his first <laughs> freshman year. <laughs> so, uh, but, you know, you know, Mobile quarterbacks <coughs> have given Alabama fits the last couple of years. Mm-hmm. And, uh, you know, honestly, I would be more worried if, if Kelly Bryant was back there. Now, I know Trevor Lawrence is a great passer, but I feel like Alabama, they've shut down great passers. But there's just something – and I know Trevor can run uh, when he needs to, but he does, he's not a, a what I would consider a true – Dual threat quarterback. He's two ish. Yes. As far as that goes. Uh, and I wouldn't count two as a dual threat. Yeah, right. Uh, I think, and this scares me half to death to say this, but I think the game is going to come down to special teams. I, I feel mm-hmm. like. Oh, God. Yeah, I know. <laughs> so you're picking Clemson. <laughs> uh, I, I think Alabama's going to have to play an almost perfect game on, on special teams. Uh, with these two great defenses, field position is going to be huge. Mm-hmm. Uh, Skylar DeLong for Alabama is going to have to punt the ball and not give them a chance to return it. Uh, Clemson is going to have to do the same thing. And when you get down within field goal range, you're going to have to take points. Uh, mm-hmm. It's been NFL-esque. Yes. So um, when – Alabama faces a non-dual threat quarterback. They usually key in on the running back like Fournette. Uh, they shut Fournette down two years in a row, mm-hmm. uh, and Fournette's probably the, one of the best running backs I've seen since Herschel Walker, Sean Alexander. So uh, I, I think they'll key on the run until Trevor makes them do otherwise. Mm-hmm. Uh, but if you know if, if Trevor plays the way that he can play and he passes the way that he can pass, uh, you may see ETN start breaking off some runs. But uh, with all that being said, uh, yeah, no, I'm going to pick Alabama. Uh, it's just a matter of how much. Uh, I do think that this is other than Georgia. This is probably the only team in the country that consistently, if we played ten times, they would win. Mm-hmm three or four times. Uh, so, uh, I'm going to say Alabama wins 28-14. So, that's way under also. Yeah. You know, if they do key on ETN like that, though, I know they did that with uh, with Fournette, but, of course, he had, who, Jeff, was it Jordan Jefferson throwing the ball? Yeah. Mm-hmm. So, it would be a little bit tougher to do that with ETN. I think they'll have to key more on Sunshine and, and T. Higgins and Renfro's, yeah. which will open it up for ETN. But, you know, it could be vice versa. It could be they key on ETN. It could be Sunshine. Uh, but, again, Alabama's the same exact way. You know, you key on two, and then you're going to get the three-headed monster. So. Yeah, I mean, they're, these two teams are just <laughs> it's gonna be fun. mirror images of yeah. each other, yeah. and, which is really scary if you're an Alabama fan. Mm-hmm. I, I think they, they've both kind of separated themselves from – Everybody else in the country. Yeah, uh, there was a lot of complaining about Georgia. Uh, fake news. And they had their chance. Fake news. I yeah, talked right. to a Georgia fan, and he completely agreed. He said, "I would be arguing for Georgia to be in the playoffs if we hadn't lost to LSU because th- they had no reason. They had no business losing to LSU. They lost no. focus for a week. They lost bad too. Yeah, they yeah, yeah. did. Yeah. So uh, I think the playoff committee got it right." And I think you got the two best teams in the country playing it out mm-hmm. for the national championship. Yeah, I still don't know about Notre Dame, but <sighs> but you cannot keep I, I, you I, cannot I keep it. an undefeated Notre I, Dame. I, I mean, get it. I, the eye test, sure. They, they played a little tougher schedule this year. 
But I'm with Reggie. A little tougher. But here's the thing. I'm with Reggie as far as okay. It's time to it's time to make a move. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Conference or or I do agree with that. You're embarrassing the nation each time. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, This is the second time they've had a chance to prove themselves and. They, they got blown out. Like, like, like 24 it. points per game is what they're getting beat by against top 10 teams in the last seven meetings. Yeah. yeah. And, you know, you look at Stanford, Stanford had it down there. You, when you really examine that schedule, uh, just looking at it from a name perspective. Syracuse it, may have been the best win. Yeah, it looks tough. Yeah. But, you know, you got Stanford, Syracuse, USC. which took USC. Michigan, too, right? They beat Michigan. They beat Michigan. Game. Game. But they got them at a great time yes. to play Michigan. Mm-hmm. Michigan State was down, Stanford down, so. Yeah. Uh, but, hey, I mean, I don't know. What are you going to do? I mean, yeah, I, I say we force them into a conference. They, it, it needs to happen. But even then, if, if, if they go to the ACC, which is more than likely, I mean, we're still going to be screaming. It will be Notre Dame and Clemson every year for the ACC championship. Yeah. And Unless they do like the Big Ten and they put all the good teams in one conference, in one division. <laughs> one division. <laughs> hey. Uh, you ready, man? Yeah, yeah, let's hear it. I can take it. <laughs> <clears throat> all right, man. Here, here's here's my honest take on this game. I picked Clemson before the season started. Uh, I even said Sunshine was going to beat Kelly Bryant out eventually. He did. Uh, there's one single reason Alabama beat Clemson last year, and it's because Kelly Bryant can't throw a forward pass. So why Missouri was so happy about getting him, I'll never know when you have one of the – statistically one of the better passers to ever come through the conference leaving, and you got a guy who can't throw a forward pass uh, coming in, and they were all excited about it. Uh, at best, Kelly Bryant at best is a option package quarterback at best. I mean, that's what he is. Uh, he's, not a, he's not a never down back. And Alabama, it looked dominant on paper last year, but it's twenty-four to three or twenty-four to seven or something like that. Mm-hmm. Um, okay, Clemson's better than that this year defensively than they were last year. I don't think there's any question about I, yeah, that. Yeah, I totally agree. Clemson's a lot better than that offensively this year. Okay, um, there's no question about that. Last week, people seen with um, a Heisman Trophy winner, he's. Too short to see over the defense. He can't take the top off the defense. He's too small. Mm-hmm. Uh, Sunshine is 6'6". He has arguably the best arm in the nation. When we're talking about, you know, seeing, <laughs> reading, things like that, um, he's going to have no problems in over the defense. Uh, when, when Alabama comes to attack him, they're going to have to put pressure on him. You're going to have to stop ETM first. You have to. The guy's rushed for 1,400 yards and 21 touchdowns, and he's averaging 8.3 yards a touch. Mm-hmm. The X factor of them all, Clemson as a team is averaging 6.8 a touch and only giving up 2.4. So what does that tell you? They run the ball, everybody they play effectively. Right. Um, now, <clears throat> again, they haven't played near the schedule at Alabama. I think that Ross is dynamic, Higgins is dynamic. Uh, when you're looking at the edges with Higgins and Ross, they're going to gain a lot. They have that this year. They didn't have that last year. So, again, now you're going to have a nickelback on Hunter Winfro. You're forced to have a nickelback on Hunter Winfro. You've got to give up something. Um, same thing the other way, though. Irv Smith Jr. will be the X Factor for Alabama because when you got Ruggs and Judy, mm-hmm. you have to give up something. Mm-hmm. Irv Smith Jr., I look to have over 100 yards against these guys. Mm-hmm. I, I promise you he will. Yeah. You, you heard it here first. He's going to be the X Factor for Alabama. Renfro will come into play again for, for Clemson. Now, I think Clemson, by no means do I think Clemson's going to blow Alabama out because Alabama's too good to do that. Here's, here's what I honestly think. I, I'm looking for a 31-27 or a 31-24 game. I'm going to call it 31-24. And I think Alabama is going to score late to bring it that close. I think Clemson's going to get up and be ahead majority of this game. I don't think two is durable at all. I've said it all year, and he's fisting the play the best without question. If he thinks Georgia has a defensive front, they're not even in the same. Mm-hmm. That's minor league compared to what he's about to play. Yeah. And when you can drop back into coverages and you ain't got to worry about blitzing to get pressure, you're in trouble. And with a hurt ankle coming off surgery, mm-hmm. um, he's not going to be able to escape. I'm telling you, he, he's in trouble. Do you um, think we'll see a lot of – Two uh, and Jalen packages together, like we did against. Have we seen three or four against I, 
Oklahoma? There, there's a phrase I want to use that, that, that I call, it's called when it gets gut check, let's just say gut check time. I don't think he's going to try to get dynamic or shifty or anything like that. I think he's going to stick to what he does. Um, and that's, you know, let's just call it what it is. He's going to have to do three and five step drops. This seven step drop, read, 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 all that time out the door. Um, this gonna, they're going to come in on him, and they're going to come in on him hard. Now, I think Clemson can get the, the 30 point range on them. Uh, I honestly think it's going to be 31 24. I just see the revenge factor. ETM's too good. Um, you got to give up something. And I'm telling you, Hunter Renfro's going to be the X factor again. Uh, because he's going to be lined up on a nickelback, uh, unlike last year when he had, you know, starting all American corner on him. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? And Kelly Bryant couldn't throw. Right. So um, now you've got him singled up again, like you did the previous two years. So now he's going to come back into play. And if anybody knows Alabama, like you said, that dude's been there since Bear was there. <laughs> so um, I don't know. I just see it. You know, like y'all have all mentioned it. They're the second. Um, you know, statistically second-ranked defense in the nation. Uh, revenge factor, ETM. I just, they're, you know, they're going to be a little too much for Alabama. I, I, I honestly was doubting my pick until I watched Alabama play Georgia. And then I was like, if Georgia can do to them what, what they did, there's no way they can beat Clemson. How do you think this game will fare ratings-wise? you think the country uh, they're, just, it, it's They're sick of it. I, which I'm an Alabama fan, so they're sick. Of but I, I can understand it. I would be sick and tired of watching two teams play. But over. this is the most even matchup mm -hmm. since the other three times they played. There was always a well, this team's probably a little better. This you really don't know who's better. You don't know who's better in this game. You really have no idea. I'm, I'm, I'm gonna throw one last X factor in, and this is the next factor in Alabama's favor. And I've said this to you, you, and you all off there. It is, it is that Saban, hey, he's my buddy, stuff going to come into play. Saban is a genius at psychological warfare. Mm -hmm. He does it without even you even knowing he's doing it. <laughs> and that's why all his disciples, and I call them Saban rejects, and I've called them that on Facebook, and I've taken heat for it, but that's why all of them lose to him constantly. Because mm -hmm. they got that, hey, man, you know, I'm just happy to be here, coach. And you, no. Well, a lot of I hate them, man. A lot of teams... They they step on the field already ten times. Already, yeah, mm -hmm. dude. Go back to the Schimbecker Woody Hayes. You got to hate him, hate him, Dabo. I love you with a good guy approach. I love all that. I love all the Christian stuff you're doing. All that's great. Mm -hmm. All this, you know, we're doing it for family here. Okay, but when it comes time, it's you and him. This war. Yeah. Treat it like that. Mm -hmm. Stop all this. Hey, I'll buy you a meal if you beat us. Stuff like that. <laughs> yeah. Piss on that, dude. Yeah. Go uh, to war with him. Well, yeah. I mean, he knows that before. Long, he's going to be in Tuscaloosa, and he'll be. You what for? Is he going to scout somebody? No, yeah. no, he's coaching waiting over at Tuscaloosa. No, oh, here's no I said that, but some of the things, Thank some of the things he's done, discipline wise, I'm not happy with. Like putting, uh, not, what's his name, been on the sidelines the other night. You're suspended. Why are you participating in team activities? Stay, you should, they should have him in Clemson. My, I mean, just more really playing that. Calm down. I, I just, you know, I, mean, I, mean, I, I agree stuff with like you. that. I just don't agree with, agree with some of his discipline, the way he disciplines with his team. I don't, I don't like it. Yeah, he's he's not. If you're looking for Saban 2.0, well, you know, well, it's not, it's I, easy to do though. When yeah. you, Saban's got, I mean, hey, you five star, you just messed up. See, and it looks like he's this big hero. Like Saban puts his foot down. If he didn't have another five star sitting behind him, would he do it? Would he do he that? He didn't do it his first year. Though. Yeah, no, he didn't. No. I talked to Coach Farmer about that. Co uh, Coach Farmer and I was uh, talking about that at the gym one day. Who was he? He, he was talking to um, DJ Hall. That was one of them. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But Coach Farmer was Coach yeah, Farmer was, was talking to one of the coaches. I can't remember who it was that was down there when Saban come in. Uh, oh, he he was he was talking to Freddie, and mm -hmm. Freddie was talking to Coach Farmer about. It. He was like he's like man, I heard this dude was a disciplinarian. He's like Freddie, who, who can he run off? Who can he afford to run off right now? He said, let him get his guys in there and you'll see it happen. And that's mm -hmm. what's happened. Yeah. Last X factor of them all, dude, then I'm going to shut up. Clemson's held their opponent to 10 or less points in seven of the last nine games. Seven of the last nine games. Yeah, they're that, peaking, at the, they're right peaking at the right time. Yeah. Trevor Lawrence will, will, will be the X factor. Um, you, you know, I used to think you had to have a mobile quarterback to beat Alabama. Then I seen what Fromm does. Fromm ain't nothing like this dude, bro. Mm -hmm. Fromm can't touch this guy right here. No, I'll tell you that now. He's I, young, but I think he's rattled. But he's 
he's not young no more. He's, What's scary is we've got the as a nation we've got two more years of this guy. So mm -hmm. oh, easy, yeah. Then he's young. Mm -hmm. Then he's first round. <laughs> He's, he's an animal. I he's seen first, him. He's first pick in draft right now. If he's yeah. Able to come out. I mean, he. I would. I feel seen good. him. I seen. Him, and this is honestly got truth. You can ask Misty. I was in L.A. Mm -hmm. when I seen his first highlight. Mm -hmm. The first ball he threw, he threw about a forty-five yard. Mm -hmm. I, I don't even know what it's supposed to be in a post corner, mm -hmm. and the receiver just ran about a thirty-yard out, but he was on the other hash. Mm -hmm. The ball traveled about forty-five yards. And I kid you not, it would never got higher than this ceiling right here. It's eight foot. And I was like, Jesus Christ, dude. <laughs> yeah. And I was like, bro. I mean, if he's that accurate, mm -hmm. I'm telling you, Renfro, man, I'm telling you right now, he's going to be locked up. I mean, Alabama knows they hate him, but bro, you're going three against him. I mean, he's the best route runner they have. Mm -hmm. I mean, he is. And um, this year, he had a great year. He's only got one touchdown, and that's kind of weird. Yeah. Look for him to show up, but I'm telling you, offensively, Alabama-wise, Irv Smith Jr., they better circle him, key on him, because that's the X factor for them. Um, that's all I got, and I'm shutting it down. So I'm going to go officially 31-24, Clemson. Okay. So we all went under. Yep. Anybody else got anything? No. Um, Josh Jacobs for Alabama. Look for him to have a to be a difference maker as well. He's running harder and harder. He is. They better enjoy it now because the guy they stole from Florida the, the, they paid a lot of money to get it's going to be paying them all extra. Uh, Trey Sanders. Anybody? John? Is that it? We're good. Well, no. uh, we're looking forward to doing a review show after this game, obviously. Well, if Alabama wins, yeah, we'll do it. <laughs> <laughs> but we're going to shut this video game down, guys. A video game. We're going to shut this video down. <laughs> been playing video games with my daughter since Christmas. Um, <laughs> please hit the subscribe button. Please hit the bell for the notifications. This is Average Joe Sports Talk. Good night.